Round one of the Rocket Mortgage Classic underway right now at the Detroit Golf Club as the PGA Tour's top players vie for seven and a half million dollars in prize money. Tournament is back, so are the crowds after fans, of course, weren't allowed to be there last That's year. That's right. It's really busy over there. Jason Colthorpe got the plum assignment yeah. and is covering the tournament for us tonight. Jason, how's it going out there? It's great. I did have to dodge a couple raindrops early, but it is fantastic. And like you said, the fans love being back. We're about 50 yards away from the 10th tee, and they are making all kinds of noise. If this is a Thursday crowd, I can't wait to see what they're like on Sunday. That's for sure. And we've had some excitement, some major stories developing out here. I mean, the crowds are certainly following defending champ Bryson DeChambeau, but the big story with that, and we're going to cover this later in sports, but he lost his caddy. They met last night, decided to part ways on the night before the tournament, so they had a bit of a falling out. Again, we'll talk about that a little bit later. Some first-round highlights, though. There was some rain, as Ben said, and there were a couple moments where they had to call the players off. Then as soon as they went back out, they had to get called off again. The fans rolled with the punches, and they finally were able to restart around 3.30. And when they did, Matt Wolf, he's got an eagle putt on 17 from... 18 feet. He drills it. He finished it five under. And then how about the PGA champ, the reigning PGA champ, Phil Mickelson, same hole, eagle putt, 60 feet, and it's just going to slide by for Phil. He ended up with a three under 69. He's six behind the leader, Davis Thompson, and he knows he has to play better. The greens are like the greens are in great shape. They're beautiful. And you can make a lot of putts. I just uh, just need to get a little hot with a putter here in the next few days, but I'm playing well. So we have some drama with uh, DeChambeau and his caddy going splitsville, but also with Phil Mickelson. A story came out in the Detroit News yesterday uh, chronicling uh, some federal documents about his uh, dealings with a bookie from 2007. Well, the story drops yesterday. Phil actually responded on Twitter, and he just addressed it a moment ago following his round. And the downer is Phil says it's things like that that, may, that are leading him to think he will not return to this tournament. We're going to get into all that when we come back for sports at 5 and 6. You can hear the crowd getting fired up. They're introducing the next round to tee off on 10. Again, it's only Thursday. They're fired up. <laughs> so exciting. Yeah. yeah, can't wait to talk to you at 6. We yeah, a lot more to talk about, right?